with Chicago was like in the Fluky Stokes era? Oh, man, Fluky Stokes era, man. I kept my eyes on that fella, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he was drop dead heavy and everything around in Chicago, man. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And heavy on all the town, man. You know? What about, what was his stomping grounds? What neighborhood? Oh, man, south side of Chicago, man. You know? Yeah, that's south side, man. You know, he used to get his hat did on 47th Street by Green, you know? Yeah. He had a few joints around there, you know what I'm saying, that he ran, you know? But, hey, man, the man was a powerful legend, man. You should, you should see him in passing and shit like that? Oh, man, I was in a salon with him, man. You know, my kinfolk, you know what I'm saying, used to work for him and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to AC, man. Yeah, he and some of the pictures on there with a fluky dog, man. You know, a little shelf guy, man. You know, my people, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fluky stoked, man. Well, uh, what, what about years around? What years was he in power? Oh, man, I get in the game in, like, 1980, man. 79, 80, I get in the game, so I was seeing him, you know, through like 77, 76 and all that, so below that, you know, yeah, man was down, like could have been early 70s, man. Will you rank him amongst uh, Chicago street street legends? A number one. Top dog? Yeah, a number one, man. Fluky I mean, Stokes. A number one, Fluky Stokes, man, you know, see him every time he went to a Vegas fight, shake his hand, because he kept jewelry on that was so heavy, man, you know. Okay, give me some of that luck off your hand, boy. Right. You're going to gamble with Steve Wynn, man. He had Caesar's Palace under control. Right. Ladies, ladies, shout out Gully TV. Shout out Gully TV. 